Hi, I'm Bob, and I'm Jet, and today, we're going to show you- Whoa, 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 hold on there a second, Bob. How are you even talking? At the moment, you're just a pointless series of pictures, which we learned to take effectively in part one. Once we've taken all the pictures, we need to string them all together into a video, and add music, sound effects, and voices, by a process called editing. Before we get started editing, there's a few things you need to know. There are so many different ways of editing. You can use a pro editing system, a standard editing system, or even your phone or tablet. The chances are, you already have one of those. Unless your devices don't actually work, like poor Bob. <coughs> Although I've used a wide variety of editing systems, I'm unfortunately not an expert in all of them. My current preference for basic editing is Final Cut Pro X. This software is Mac exclusive and carries a pretty hefty price tag, which may be a pickle for some of you. But you don't need anything like this to start out brick filming. You can use whatever you currently have at your disposal. You may be wondering, well how do I use this part of the computer that's not the internet? Well luckily, there are many tutorials out there that tailor to your specific needs. They're all just a YouTube search away. To make it even easier, I've created a playlist of tutorial videos I've found that you may find helpful. And if you happen to find one you think I should put there, just personal message me on my channel. So go ahead, look at the playlist and see what you can find. I've already made one myself for Final Cut Pro X. They should all include how to add voices, music, sound effects, and how to change the speed of the animation. Thanks for watching, and hopefully there'll be more brick filming tutorials coming soon. You also may be wondering where I get all my music and sound effects from. All those links and more will be in the description.